three things that a narcissist cannot live without. Three things that are most important to the narcissist. There are certain things that are very important to the narcissist. Things that they cannot live without. Things that they need for their false self to continue existing. Without these three things, the narcissist would probably go insane. They would lose their minds because these things sustain the narcissist. They prop up their false self. They make them feel alive. Which is why if you threaten any of these three things, you need to be very cautious. Because the narcissist may lash out at you. They may try to bring you down. Because they are very sensitive things to the narcissist. The narcissist cannot live without them. But knowing what these three things are can help you to protect yourself. It can help you to better understand the narcissist's mind. It can help you to understand why they do what they do. So here are three things the narcissist cannot live without. One. Money. The narcissist cannot live without money. No one can really live without money. We all need food. We all need a place to live. But money is more important to a narcissist than it is to most people. Because it allows them to portray an image to people. Narcissists often experience delusions of grandeur. As though they have more power, wealth or intelligence than they actually have. But deep down they feel very insecure. They feel inadequate. Which is why they want to make their delusions a reality. Because although they try to live in this illusion. Reality does influence how they see themselves. They want reality to reflect back to them. How they choose to see themselves. And they do this by trying to obtain money. They will do anything to get it. They will lie to people. They will steal. Because money is one of the main things a narcissist cannot live without. They use it to fund their addictions, such as tobacco, alcohol, drugs, shopping and gambling. They use it to portray this grandiose image. Many narcissists want designer clothes, luxury cars and expensive homes. Because they believe that these things make them better than other people. And they are very concerned with appearing better than other people. Because they're very insecure. They feel inadequate. 
So they do need a lot of money to fund all of their materialistic desires. Two, power. Narcissists want power. They want the ability to direct and influence the behavior of other people and the course of events. Which is why they are so manipulative. Which is why they are pathological liars. They will give you a false impression. They will cause you to believe something that is not true. Just so they can exploit you. Just so they can gain an advantage over you. Where they feel like they are in control. Where they feel like they have an influence or authority over you. Because as long as they have power over you, they can then use you to their advantage or they will gain power over other people so that they can gain an advantage over you. Which is why power is so important to the narcissist. They want to be able to move people and things around so that they can get the result that they would prefer. They see people as pawns on a chessboard. People are just objects that they use to fulfill their needs. Free. Narcissistic supply. If there is one thing that a narcissist cannot live without, it's narcissistic supply. They need an endless supply of attention, validation, compliments and praise. It compensates for their low self-esteem and lack of confidence and acceptance, which arouse from early childhood trauma. Supply is their fuel. They need to feel important. They need to feel like they are the best. They need to feel like they have won. When you are around a narcissist, they will expect you to supply them. They will expect you to fulfill their needs because they cannot regulate their low self-esteem. They cannot sustain their false self, which is why they target a source of supply. Someone who can give them constant attention and validation. Someone who will give them compliments and praise. But every supply has an expiry date, especially when you see through their mask. And that is when they will need to find another source of supply. They will need to find someone to replace you. Narcissists are on a never ending chase to find that which they feel they are deficient in. They are constantly looking for something to complete them, which is inevitably something that they will never find because they hold other people responsible for their inadequacies rather than attending to themselves. And that is why they cannot live without these three things. Because they refuse to attend to themselves. They refuse to attend to themselves because they were not attended to correctly in childhood. They are essentially young children in adult bodies that were never given the tools that they needed to grow. So now they remain stuck in the same state that they were left in. still throwing the same temper tantrums as they did as a child. 
the narcissist is essentially just a child that never developed emotionally. Which is why they hold other people responsible for their feelings and needs. But no matter how much money, power or supply you give to a narcissist, it will never change them. And it will not help them to develop in any way. They will just see you as their source of supply. They will see you as an object that exists to serve them. They're not going to take what you give to them and use it to develop themselves. They're just going to use it to create the appearance that they have developed themselves. They're very concerned about their image reputation, not only because they care about what other people think, but because how other people see them reflects upon how they see themselves. When you strip everything down, everyone is just a reflection of them. And all a narcissist really cares about is how they see themselves. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching.narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.